Okay, I watched this already, like, literally two seconds ago, but um, just looking at the recording, it only recorded for like one minute, I did something wrong. I'm gonna ignore that and just pretend this is my first time viewing it after a while. Okay, so let me just run by everything I said again, quickly. So I saw this ages ago and wanted to see it again, because like back then I wanted to make a video of it, but I never got around to doing it. But now I'm getting back into video making and stuff, so I wanna do it now because I have the chance now. Uh, what else did I say? I don't remember. <laughs> like, subscribe. <laughs> oh, this is, by the way, this is too kawaii for comfort. I don't know how I'm planning on doing all this recording. I think I'm gonna like watch an episode or two a night and then just um, edit them all together, add an intro, outro, extra bits and stuff. But I'm gonna do like live reactions to everything else. That looks like Thundercats. I don't know what Thundercats is, I just feel like saying that. <laughs> Crimson was in Party. Okay, that's a cool title. <laughs> All fun and games until the squad pulls up. Spencer? Come on, how are you not hearing that? Spencer Chan, dude, please. The neighbors are gonna hate you. Konnichiwa, Spencer Chan. Konnichiwa, Konnichiwa. Oh, I remember saying this. Some of you might see this as cultural appropriation. I don't know how I see this. I'm just here for the ride. I'm not going to tell the driver how to act and stuff. I'm just going to go with it. And I think it's more of a comment on weep culture and stuff. And just fun satire. Haha, -ha, funny. Get the gang for our epic adventure to Kodakon. Hi, super excited. Michael Henry San is going to be a guest here. <laughs> Michael Henry Sin, well, but Henry San because Monster! it's Japanese. Okay, that's Mari and Spencer. We are driving with currently. So many cute stickers. And then wait for it, wait for it. Pride sticker. Amazing. Rode trip. I hope they heard that correctly. These three are like. Okay, Tokyo is kind of interesting. These other characters are kind of boring. Um, Sadly, we don't. You know what? I'm not gonna spoil it. You will just, you know, it, it doesn't matter. Um, if you want, don't want it spoiled, go ahead, pause, go and watch the original, and then come back. If you don't care, Mari is not in most of the episodes, like in this one and then the final one, I think. So yeah, we don't get to see much of Mari. <laughs> the shots are being held for so long, it's so awkward. The acting isn't that bad, honestly. I'll call you when we get there. You have Mari's number. She'll call you when we get there. <laughs> Randy, you look like a grown person. Come on, you can call your mother. Okay, you do not look excited to see um, Randy. Konnichiwa, Randy Chad. <sighs> You were three minutes later than you oh, said you Oh, shut were. up, Randy. I'm sorry, Randy. I didn't mean to- Do we really have to pick her up? Of course we do. She's awful, and none of us like her. Randy Chan, we are con buddies, and con buddies gotta always stick together and split the hotel fee no matter what. <laughs> it's like we're- Yeah, apparently that's like a thing. These convention hotels are like expensive because of the events, so then a lot of people just group up and pay for the same hotel. Like room and then yeah. Companions. Like Doctor Who. Ooh. <laughs> Never watched Doctor Who in my oh life, my and that Can't was so badly done. So I don't care about any of this. I don't care about these people. I just want to get to this guy. I relate to Randy so last much. Year. A few years ago, I had to quit my job just so I could get to this. Tournament. Okay, not so much. Never mind. <laughs> we have to go. We have to go right now. Read our chat. Oops, oh, sorry, perfect. that's not her full name. <clears throat> God, Wait for it. So oh, there's a Miku hanging in the windscreen. Ahayaa! Ahayaa, Rita-chan. Rita for the last time, Mari, I told you, you have to call me Magical Justice Magical Savior Rita-chan. Magical Justice Savior Rita-chan. Magical Justice Magical Savior Magical Rita-chan. Magical Justice Savior Rita-chan. Holy Maiden of Justice yep. who's gonna win the masquerade this year with a super funny skate at Kodakon. Magical just let me try and say that. Magical Justice Savior Rita-chan. Who has a magic wand and something about a skit at Kodakon? Better not be late for this turn. Now, everybody raise it in the air. <laughs> okay, so There's we know Randy's priority and goal an and ambition. Manga, friendship, and most importantly, Japan! <laughs> Japan! <laughs> Japan! 
friendship would be higher on the list, if not the highest on the list. <laughs> Japan. Cultural appreciation. Ooh. Does Randy need to poo? I told you we're gonna be. Oh, late. he's irritated. Marikun was just trying to be nice. You should chill out, Randy san. Don't tell me to chill out, Rita. It's magical justice savior Rita chan. Magical justice savior Rita chan. I love this line. Hold You're on. Being a magical justice. Oh, Why did you, don't you okay. call me that, Rita? <laughs> it's magical justice. Magical, magical justice, justice savior Rita, Rita chan. chan. Please stay Please. calm. <coughs> I'm dying. You know, Randy Chan doesn't mean it when he says things like that. No, oh, I do. <laughs> That's why I love Randy. But also hates That's him. part of it, too. <laughs> you are so single minded with that thing. Robot. Robot. My brain holds on to the weirdest <laughs> things and remembers. <laughs> brain weird. <laughs> and, and, and Toki Chan is going to have a great. Fine. Adorable. Fine. Baka. Could have let her carry out. <gasps> she just called him a baka. Oof. I'm going to try and do that whole uh, TikTok meme thing. <laughs> you smell like a baka. <laughs> Eddie Niega. That was horrible. I'm sorry. What's up? Look out. This, that whole flight. This, this was just like something from Crimson Wizard Party. The, the Archmage Ganymede through this bit at Headmaster Celestia and it was really funny. <laughs> oh, cool. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that look, oh my God. Spencer Sam, what are you listening to? Oh, uh, there's just some stuff I found in, in my brother's CD collection. It's this guy, Dave Brubeck. Is he K-pop? <laughs> no, he's more like a, a keyboard type guy. Nightcore? Oh jeez! Well, I I really like that the theme song, the Cowboy Bebop. You know, so I thought I'd give it a try. I've never heard. It, it's it's really not life. bad once you get into it. But it seems like something that will go. I'm probably very wrong. Ruvek sounds kind of like the name of a demon lord. Not a bad drawing, honestly. Way better than anything I can do. Ruvek. Ruvek. So cringe. So cute. Such a bonding moment. Hashtag goals. It has to be Sailor Moon's wand so I can use its Vichy rays to change you into Yaoi. Otherwise, oh. it doesn't work, and if it doesn't work, it's not funny. Interesting yeah, powers. We've already been traveling four hours reading I don't know how you're going to turn something into Yaoi, but yeah. interesting. So I don't get to complain when we're late for the Sky Fighter tournament, but you get to go back for your stupid wand? You could play that stupid game from your smelly basement. How about if we all Rude. come down and just But he's a gamer, so it's normal. Super kawaii mega mix. They should have that, um... Ubu sung, got my heart, Ubu, and they, um, rar, XD nuzzle has sung you, Ubu, you're so warm. That is like the ultimate two kawaii songs I know. At least I get to leave my smelly basement. Your parents just lock you up because they probably end up killing somebody. Whoa, what? Take that back. Excuse me? Yeah, they lock you up like a baby. Wait, who locks up a baby? What? Or a dog. Take that back! That is weird. Okay. I googled Gaijin on my viewing of this like nine minutes ago and it means foreigner. So like she's calling him a foreigner. A Japanese foreigner. I don't need it to explain. <laughs> Jeez, this emphasis on the B, please. Back up. Everybody, everybody, please calm down before somebody seriously gets hurt. Baka, you're okay. Is that coming towards us? And I, oop, they dead? Question mark. Dun, dun. No, they're not. There's more episodes coming. Hatsune Miku is still alive. That's that's all that matters. Okay, tell me Randy doesn't, I mean, what are you? Spencer doesn't look like Danny Gonzalez. Like a like younger Danny Gonzalez. Like, look at that. That's Danny Gonzalez. Tell me it isn't. Originally, I wasn't going to watch um, two episodes tonight, but I was here for like 
20 minutes already. Might as well make it 30 and watch another one. So episode two, let's go. Registration. Oh, hi. I saw our little girl's eyes and she fell. Oh, jeez, I'm sorry. I didn't know it was going to be something more serious. Oh my god. The heavy, jeez. Randy! Oh my gosh, no. To be fair, Randy didn't know. <laughs> oh my gosh. He's a gamer. Every day is gaming day. <laughs> Jeez. Headphones are horrible if the sound is still so loud. I'm sorry, I'm scrolling through Instagram and I'm thinking like... I know I shouldn't be scrolling through Instagram, I should be focused on this thing, but like I started thinking about Kim Petras. And I can't wait to see the music video for a new song. If you haven't heard it, go watch it. Listen to it. Then stream it. Also stream CC is dreaming. I don't know why I'm giving these people promotion. I'm like, there's just like five people are watching, but still, you five people, amazing people, love you. Go and watch, listen to CC is dreaming. Oh, also, yeah, sorry, I should have reacted to that. Oh no, Mari is in hospital. <laughs> I can't sound less like I don't care. I'm sorry. Okay, I'll put my phone out and pay more attention. Oh, Kodakon is right across the street. 2015, that was six years ago. Oh my gosh, I feel so old. It's right there. Honestly, like 2015 and 2016 had the best memes. Remember like that, uh, who do you think you are song? Uh, TikTok first came out. Life was simpler. Things were better. Rita Chan looks bored out of her mind. Sorry, Magical Justice Saver Rita Chan looks bored out of her mind. You know, the, the doctor says she will be Daijabu. What's Daijabu? I think Daijabu means okay. What part of severe brain trauma is Daijabu? Heavy. I hate this. I hate my body. I hate being a girl. Rita, Magical Justice Saver Rita Chan trans confirmed? Question mark. Hmm, drugs. Warning, side effects may include intense menstrual cramps oof sorry why is everything always so horrible like, yeah down. tell me about it this is a very depressing episode oh my gosh and it just started Mari's in the hospital because she was she was just in a in, in a car crash and we were in the car with her right so the doctors have her there's nothing we can do about it I've been looking very valid points both months, standpoints are very valid like they need to decide for themselves. No, neither one is right, no, neither is wrong. Rita, the right thing to do is to stay here with Mari. Ooh, you just called her Rita. Don't do that. You trying you to die? You are my senpai or my dad. Oh. You can't tell me what to do. Jeez. Okay, Andre. Oh, Randy, Randy, rude. Unnecessary. You stole this guy's cheese. The sign up for the Sky Fighter tournament is in 30 minutes. The grand prize is $80, which I need. You quit your job for $80. Uh, you know what? Do you, Randy? Do you? Go, Toki. Can you give this to Mari? So sweet. That is actually a very nice drawing. The others were kind of bad, but I didn't want to say anything. <laughs> Medical just is every other channel. Are you gonna call everyone you don't like or disagrees with you, Gaijin? Hey, can you hold that? I don't understand that. I was just trying to ruin my weekend. You know, oh, jeez, sweetie, calm down. Trying. Well, maybe you should have thought about how he felt. Are you saying I don't have feels? Oh, no. don't say no, she no, don't have not, feels. That's hurtful, Toki Kun. That's, that's so messed up, Toki. Up. I do have feels. Despite what you and the she world make, feels, I have feels. I have she real, has actual feels. She got feels. real, actual Why feels. Why does everyone think I'm some kind of monster? I just want to She's not a monster, to Toki. Talk. Please just stop talking. Fuck off! Don't tell me to. Randy, oh. very disgusting, Randy. Don't touch her, Randy. Randy, don't touch her. I'm, I'm really sorry. Babe. Don't touch me. You freaking gaijin baka! Don't touch her. <laughs> <laughs> I can't say that with the same with straight face. You can't even draw because you have no talent. You're just totally useless. 
Magical Justice Save It and Rita, stop please, jeez. I'm not gonna do the skip. Nani! Okay, that was in horribly. Now. Could they have a retake of that, please? This. You're not gonna die alone. You're gonna live alone. Oh, jeez. Magical Justice Save Rita Chan, that is so evil and hurtful. Pathetic children. <laughs> 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 okay, that was very anime. Why did you rip the hospital's magazine? Come on, uh, sp 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 Spencer. Oh, Takis, this is Danny Gonzalez. Why are you standing with your fist balled up? Are you gonna punch Mari? Oh. I don't know why my brain thought he was gonna punch Mari. I'm so sorry. Oh, jeez, okay. You could have just like put it in your pocket for later instead of just wasting it, but okay. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Rita Nair, Wexidal, anti psychopathic. Take one capsule every day. Do not skip a dosage. Is that an actual drug? Is that an actual. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> uh. No, just wait. No. Just go to a stall or g wait. Uh. <laughs> oh, jeez. Okay. Um, I forgot what I was talking about now. Uh, oh, um. <laughs> what those. Antipsychotics, are they an actual drug or no? Leave a comment below informing me, please. I'm dumb. I need you to comment and tell me how if is I, I don't know what's real and fake. If you comment something, I'll believe you 100 percent Okay, I'm tired. Good night. Now before I begin, I want you to say from this point on, I'm going to be doing things a little bit different. I'm stopping the live reactions. If you like them, I'm sorry. If you didn't like them, yay! Something different. A little mix up, a little change of scenery. <laughs> so I don't want to risk copyright claims by using too much of the footage. So I'm just gonna be like doing things differently. Hold on, let me turn that on. Um, I'm trying to read my script, but it's very confusing. Like and subscribe, and also comment, because that really helps me a lot. Any engagement is good engagement, so please do me that favor. So, I'm gonna drop this little icon and reveal me. ta -da. <laughs> Hi. Not too far off the icon, just... Meh. <laughs> Different classes, I guess. I don't know. This is very weird. Not a big fan of being on camera, but I'm gonna do it. Also, I'm sorry about the lighting. I could just like move the things this side so I have natural sunlighting, but I'm lazy. So just deal with this for today, for these next two episodes, okay? Thank you. Mwah. So we start the episode about Randy off with Toki and Magical Justice Saver Rita Chan <clears throat> entering the room and being joined by the man of the hour, Randy. Of course, Randy's the best character. In this household, we love and hate Randy. We see Toki is crying and Randy says something. Don't quote me, but I think he said something like, I told her I didn't mean it or something like that. I told her I didn't mean to. And I don't fully know what he's referring to, whether it be touching Magical Justice Savior Rita Chan or farting in the elevator, but like, you can kind of see that Randy is a caring, compassionate person and that's why we kind of stand him in this house but again not really stick with me so randy really tries to make sure toki is okay he asks if there's anything he can do for her he asks if she's uh, gonna be okay blah 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 the whole nine yards randy then proceeds to go into the bathroom and have a epic suit up scene it, it looks amazing and then <laughs> he walks out the bathroom you know what i'm not gonna explain it just watch this is pure comedy gold it's amazing i love it
before we go any further, I want to say that Randy reminds me so much of Shrek. But like, in a good way. Because I hold Shrek in high regards in this household. You can go and ask my mother. I have receipts. But also, again, still love and hate Randy. So he's like kind of like Shrek, kind of not like Shrek. He just has that like lovable, lovable oaf kind of demeanor about him. Okay, at this part they show 250. I don't know what happens at 250, so... Single elimination, no wild card. Once you're out, you're out. Winner gets 80 bucks credit at the con merch table, so make it count. Okay, so Randy is about to go and start his competition thingy that this was his whole point of coming to this convention. And... <laughs> wait. It was literally just for $80 credits. It wasn't a cash prize of $80. So Randy quits his job for $80 in credits at a merch table that he doesn't even get unless he wins a tournament. Randy, sweetie, no, this isn't it. We jump to Randy's match versus a gamer girl and girls can't be gamers, so he's obviously gonna kick his butt, you know how it is. Uh, yeah, he gets his butt kick. He, he takes a fat owl, as the gamers say. <laughs> After getting his butt kicked from the epic gamer girl, <laughs> I bet it was some cool graphic there. He then decides to think, you know what? Girls are actually pretty cool. Bruh. I'm gonna go and flirt with this one. At least I think it's flirting. I don't know. I'm horrible at flirting, so I'm just assuming it. It is flirting. I've been taking Japanese. After flirting with the gamer girl, he's like, you know what? I like games. There are many different genres of games. Let me go and play a dating game. And. Watching that dating game was very sad, honestly. It, oh jeez. I related kinda to it, but also not really. <laughs> but anyway, he gets rejected by the video game character as well. Yeah, double homicide. If you want to play a video game and not get rejected by a character, play Doki Doki Literature Club. Monica will most likely love you. Weirdly, he does end up stalking the main character and like so not the main character, the gamer girl, and makes a voodoo doll of the gamer girl, but makes the foolish amateur mistake of giving the voodoo doll to the person. You keep the voodoo doll so you can do your spells and whatever you want to do with the doll. Do you not know how it works? Now, I know I constantly keep saying this, that I have a love-hate relationship with Randy, and the hate part of the relationship comes into this aspect. The girl clearly doesn't want to talk to him, but then he decides to make a move on her and tries to kiss her. Like, Randy. No. Other poly couples. So we don't stand around in this house anymore. <laughs> then after the credits play, someone comes back and picks up the doll. I have no idea who it is. It might be the gamer girl, might not be the gamer girl. It's definitely not Randy. It could be a random person, but it don't think it was ever brought up again, oddly enough. What is my thoughts of that whole episode? Randy's weird. Um, yeah. That was episode three. Episode four. Starting now. <laughs> this episode is about Toki. One of the more interesting characters apart from Rita. In the next video, at the end of this video, I'll do a whole tier list of this. So, episode four. This episode focuses on- oh. Sweetie, calm down. You're not in a race, jeez. This episode focuses on Toki-chan. It seems to pick up right off the land Randy leaves. And to be honest, if memory serves well, which it usually doesn't, there is a character in the episode that says a lot of offensive things. So there will be a timestamp in the comments to just skip to the next episode. But feel free to stick around because I'm not going to show any of those offensive things here. I'm not trying to get cancelled. I'm just trying to get started. <laughs> um, Just also... I try to be about love, not hate, so please don't cancel me or the members of the show. It was a different time, and yes, accountability is good and needed, but it's not going to solve anything spreading hate in my comments or attacking people. So don't do that, let's just proceed. So we see Toki scribbling in a notebook, and hmm, I wonder what she's drawing. Oh, it's Brubeck, the demon lord, being turned into... <laughs> I'm gonna do that again. Toki... This, she be doodling uh, it's Brubeck the demon lord being turned into Rita the demon lord very creative writing there and I'm not genuinely not being sarcastic I just have a monotonal voice and I'm working on it and trying to be more theater kid <laughs> Toki wanted to make her own plushie that was like her one of her reasonings for going to the convention 
obviously also to do the whole skits with Rita at Kodokan, but then they had a falling out, so Rita is MIA, and Toki said she's not doing it, so Toki wants to go and build a plushie. She sets an alarm, she was ready to go and do this, but sadly it was closed. So she makes the worst decision one can possibly make. Decides to go on a dating show with a bunch of weebs. Like, why? Literally, do anything else. Don't do that, ever. I'm sorry, I'm... I'm <laughs> It was a joke. I'm sorry. I'm trying. <laughs> Hi, my name is Toki, and I really want to go to Japan one day. Okay, Toki. It's Toki. That's great. Looking at these people interacting in a space like this is a bit triggering for me because, like, in my mind, I'm always thinking, where's the social distancing? Where are the masks? COVID has messed up my brain thinking and thought process so much. Okay, but anyway, back on topic. Toki finds her love. Oh, amazing. Till anime series ending, do they part? The winner is a literal psychopath. A socio-psychopath. <laughs> it's Jake Paul. Yeah. <laughs> Every day, bro. They win a date and this guy is so intense. Like, just look at this. Don't do that! I wasn't- I Why wasn't don't looking... you look behind you? I almost spilled my coffee! I'm not around my block. Me and my queer M will pull up on you with the gratis <laughs> Get it like mandem, but not mandem. Queer them. Mm -hmm. He invites Toki to crash with him and his friends. But Toki, you see who this person is. Wrong. Mm. But of course she doesn't listen to me and she goes with this wrong end to their room. <laughs> Beyblade, you know what time it is? Beyblade drinking game! Beyblade drinking game! Oh, okay, wait, 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 wait. stay. Beyblade is, is awesome. Stay. <laughs> Never mind. Toki, Queen, run. Get out of there now. And thankfully, this time she actually takes my advice and Scooby Doo runs right out of that place. So then Toki runs back to her room and she has a flashback of non-christian things that we will not be discussing on this channel or in this household sorry i just smacked my mouth i smacked my mic with my face i smacked my face with my mic that audio <laughs> i need to make sentence ah. speaking is hard if you try have you tried speaking before it's literally impossible for people to speak it is the hardest thing to do on planet earth i don't know what toki's character arc was in this episode at all i guess it was interesting interesting and a bit entertaining to watch nonetheless nine out of ten character arc okay that was me watching last night and i'm supposed to be editing it now but like i'm kind of tired and i just want to relax for a while because yesterday i spent the entire day editing the first two episodes Today, I did quite a bit of learning and stressing and trying to figure out JavaScript is hard. And now I'm doing the vocal recordings. I'm only going to do one take of this. I'm not going to do it again. Uh, <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. I feel like I'm in a mood, though. Um, yeah. So I'm done for now. Future me, you'll have to deal with this. It's, it's not my problem. Okay, bye. <laughs> episode five. Whoa, we almost done. This episode is going to be deep. Looking at the intro, it's super serious, and I was trying my best to figure out a joke to say here, but honestly, I don't think I should be making one, nor do I feel comfortable making a joke about someone being on medication and wanting to go somewhere that they feel happy. Rita just makes a plan to escape and she does, that's the intro. I can't say that she did what was right or wrong, but it's been done. Okay, sorry. I know it's a fictional character and it's a fictional situation, but I'm attached, okay. Rita talks to, I think it's Ghostface, I actually don't know the character's name, I haven't watched Spirited Away yet. It says to Ghostface that she wants her spot to be held in line. Be right back, save my spot in line, okay? I said save my spot in the line, okay? And here we can see that magical dress to save your Rita Chan 
is a tad bit controlling, but that's just the half of it. She eventually comes back <laughs> and claims a spot in line by freaking assaulting this person. Welcome, punch! So yeah, her hmm drugs were important. And I hope you took your medication today. Did you? Did you drink water as well? If not, now's the time. It's never too late. Unless it is. I don't know your medication. Magical Justice Saviorita Chan watches this girl brush her hair which might be a bit foreshadowing hmm i wonder she also just like yoinks this one from the person and at first i was very confused why and then i realized that in the very first episode toki forgot to bring the wand along so rita just like yoinked it from someone else one could argue that this is the universe giving her another chance and brought her the thing she needed for her little quest thingy adventure i don't condone stealing i'm just making a joke okay don't be mad any hoodle we see medical justice savior rita chan preparing to go on stage to do a skit we're reminded that toki isn't a part of it anymore and sadly it doesn't really go well for rita next up in the in the talent portion our skit is yaoi academy with magical justice savior rita chan and toki it's a gross Harry Potter thing, and also frick J.K. Rowling. Rita's skits was going so bad, it was good. Her wig flew off, and what? That's a wig? I thought it was a hair. What? <laughs> I'm sorry, my acting was horrible. Um, The budget for this thing must have been, like, pretty low, but it's still very well made and produced, and I, it was very entertaining to go along this adventure with these characters. Uh, another deep scene plays where we see Rita was, like, cutting her hair like her head her hair i don't know what to say at this point and it's very like existential for me um very very depressing scene uh i honestly don't know what to say i haven't written the script i don't know what to say hopefully kyle can lighten the mood kyle can you take it away please bud <laughs> Rita meets someone who likes her OC cosplay and wants to take a photo. Rita, being a tad bit self-absorbed, thinks, Oh, this random person wants to take a picture of me. Rita, no, that's not what the person meant. <laughs> the person gets their photo taken with Rita and Rita makes what historians call a good friend. Which is really sweet and they go on taking selfies, vlogging in the whole some manner. It's just fun to see. I don't know why I said vlogging, like... YouTubers literally ruin my mindset. They're just recording videos for fun. Um, I know Rita has been like pretty horrible, but that doesn't mean she deserves bad things. Don't you agree? Like some horrible people, yeah, bad things. But not Rita. I stand Rita. Rita ends up sleeping on the side of side of the road and doesn't want to go back to the hotel or even the hospital. I don't know if she doesn't want to go to face her friends or or what. But I'm just very confused as to why she slept on the side of the road. She might just have the best character arc. 10 out of 10. Would watch again. Kinda. Not really. It's quite depressing. Randy is still my favorite episode. <laughs> Randy might be my favorite episode, but Reed is the best character. Episode 6. I'd like to publicly shame a person. Spencer goes looking for Rita, doesn't find her and gives up. That's it. That's the episode. <laughs> it was extremely boring. That's it. I want to leave it there, but there were some cool things inside this episode. Like there was an Attack on Titan reference showing Zeke's mommy, the big eye Titan, the infamous Neko Titan that ate Eren in 139. Oh, wait, spoiler, sorry. They show a Steven Universe reference. There's also this really funny bits where there is a debate of land ships versus airships. Oh, 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 yes, yes, yes. Mari also woke up at the end of this episode. And it's it's very sad. This is even more sad than the previous episode. She suffered a brain injury, potentially. Severe brain trauma. And she's talking to a bedpan. She throws it against the wall, which kills it, I guess. Nico, stop it! And then she comes to the conclusion that no one's with her. And it ends saying it'll be concluded, dot, dot, dot in the next episode but that's it it's over there was plans to make the conclusion episode but sadly they lack the funding to do so which is really disappointing to hear it really ended depressing and existential i needed a happy ending to this beautiful series but sadly it may never happen there were the outtakes that were released in 2020 and it was fun to see the cast smiling and having a good time recording the episodes I just want to say that if you made it this far throughout the video, I'm super thankful. It took me so much time, so much energy, and so much effort to make this. I can't say I'm like fully happy with the first two episodes. 
and how it came out in general, but I'm satisfied with it. I'm satisfied that I utilized my time to make this, and I'm glad that I can finally scratch it off my list of things to do. I was looking at this thing since like 2017, 2018, whenever it came out, and I've been meaning to do something about it, make a video about it or something. I watched this with friends and I was like holding on to it since, and now that I've completed it, I think I can let that part of my life go. It was more than just the silly web series I was attached to, it was actually the good times I had with friends I've lost. Um, I've hated saying goodbye quite a lot honestly, and it always hurts. I used to say goodbye a lot, and at some point you realize things gotta come to an end and you gotta say goodbye at least for a while, if not forever. So <laughs> until next time, love you all, take care of yourselves, and goodbye. <laughs>